Now, does this compare at all? I mean, can you remember back in high school, were you one of the picked on or the pick on ease? Um, I can't remember. No. <laughs> uh, I was actually pretty much in the middle. I was, I was pretty low key. I mean, I, I, I was. Uh, I had, you know, I had a lot of friends, but I wasn't. I wasn't terribly popular. I wasn't unpopular. I was mm -hmm. just sort of. I walked the line, you know. Yeah. So it was. Uh, so for me, really, when I came out of my shell and started becoming who I am, I think it was about seventeen, eighteen. Mm -hmm. And that was when maybe I started to, to shift in the direction of a person who could, who could command any kind of presence. I think I was still finding myself when I was, uh, yeah. when, I, when I was that age. Oh yeah, I, I can I, Although that's probably most people. You know. <laughs> exactly. Well, was it more fun for you to be blue or to be the woodchuck? Blue. Yeah. Blue was more free. You know? <laughs> I was essentially like naked from the waist up. In fact, I was just in paint. Give it up for your very own blue girl. Blue girl. And uh, the, the the woodchuck outfit was just very hot, heavy, and, I, and I was, it was hard to move, and I had to like run around, and it, so it was a bit much. And it was, and it was <laughs> the middle of the summer in Ojai, which is like a dust bowl. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's uh, it's dusty and it's hot, and it was. Uh, there were some points where, you know, if that's the worst my job gets, that's a wonderful blessing. <laughs> but it, there were points where it was pretty pretty bad. Give it up for the woodchucks! <laughs> I like Todd much better when he was topless. Yeah, but even dressed as a woodchuck, I still fantasize about him. It may just be a warm up, you know. <laughs> There's probably yeah, right. going to be a lot worse in your future. Um, yeah, I'm sure. And speaking of your future, what do you think about the film versus TV? Is it something you want to do more of film? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's where most people, you know, you you do TV as a as a platform, and and whether or not you can utilize it as a platform is, is another thing. But um, for me, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I just did a film called Margin Call this past summer, and another one with Stanley Tucci. Yeah, And I actually I saw was that. able to interact with them, whereas in this one I didn't. Um, but uh, and and it had a fantastic cast, and I had a great experience. It was it was really really a learning experience for me. It just I mean Kevin Spacey and Paul Bettany, Jeremy Irons, Demi Moore. It's just like you know, it's uh, it that's was a, it was a really cast. great time. Now that's the one that's a, it's like a kind of set in Wall Street, but mm -hmm. it's before the fall. And it, it is essentially a fictional but kind of historically accurate account of the twenty hour period when. Goldman Sachs kind of like realized that the shit was hitting the fan, you know, essentially, and liquidated their position. So it was, uh, I mean, it's not that it's, it's not that it's factual, but it is, but it is a sort of like a, approximation of it, and just kind of like a look at the personal tragedies of of that for for those guys. Mm -hmm. So you know, hopefully people will be interested. Well, it sounds fascinating, and it all takes place in one day. It's like 24. Yeah, I was wearing a suit uh, for 17 days, and it was, uh, wow. it, was really, it was really a fun time. That's great. Now, what's going on with Gossip Girl? Uh, season four, it's bigger, better. <laughs> uh, we're in Paris, there's a baby, uh, there's a gunshot wound, and uh, a brush with death, and I think there's a wedding. I mean, there's a whole lot. I can't be more specific, because, you know, they're so sensitive with They'll shoot that you. kind of stuff. They'll shoot you. But baby love, baby yeah, love. Yeah, there's a, there, there's a lot coming, and I think people will be excited.